In this video, we're going to look at setting up a machine make and model inside of Bobcat. Now, the machine make and model setting controls a lot of the defaults for the system. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. We need to come to our cam tree. And then here under cam part, we'll go ahead and click the plus symbol next to it. You'll see that we have milling tools and also turning tools. Now, when we right click this, we can come to our current settings. And the first thing that comes up is our machine settings. Here we can see that we have make and model. And also a type for in the case of using mill, this is where you'd set whether you're using laser, plasma, or water jet as well. This make and model is user defined, so you can come in and set up your own list of make and models for machines. What this does is this controls many of the settings in Bobcad. The first thing to look at are the settings on this page. You have a maximum spindle speed and a maximum cutting feed rate. So if these are not set in the milling machine file, what will happen is this will limit the spindle speed and the cutting feed rate. So there's a lot of things that this file will control that you need to go in and set up first. Now there are documents online available uh, if you want a printout sheet to go and go through this, you can go up to our website and look through our FAQs at bobcat.com. As well as in the Getting Started Guide, there's a step-by-step -step instruction that goes through setting these up. Let's go ahead and take a look at how to do this. Now, this also will control the NC file path, which is Bobcat's posting directory. Now, you have to have full write access to this, so setting this up will avoid some problems as well if you don't have read access or the software wouldn't post to a directory that doesn't exist. So this is definitely something that you need to come in and set up before getting started with Bobcat. It also controls the file extension for your machine. A lot of machines will take a .tap file or a .text. This does need to be set up for your machine to read the code that's produced by Bobcat. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to set up these machine makes and models. We'll go ahead and close out of this. Now to do this, you do have to close out of the Bobcat system. And then what we'll do is we'll come to the Windows Start button, All Programs, and then we'll scroll down to Bobcat V24. In here you can see that we have our machine editors. Let's go to our milling machine editor. In here we have, the first thing to look at are the machines. We can come in and add a machine. And this will give us a new machine and new model. You can also remove machines from this list, as well as remove makes and models. Let's go ahead and set our new machine as the first item in the list. So this will be what Bobcad uses for its default when it first opens. You could also come in and create different model machines. Maybe you have one make and several models, so you can set that up in here as well. To change the names now, we'll come over to our settings. And we can give this any name that we want. Let's say that we're using a Haas VF. We'll go ahead and change this to H A A S for the machine make name. Let's say Haas VF. Uh, we'll just say Haas. And then our model, let's make that VF. Now, in here is where we select the default post processor for that machine make. Now, if you need to know how to install a post, there is a Getting Started video that also covers downloading and installing post processors. And you will need to do that before you set up this machine file. In this case, we'll choose the Haas VF Rev1 and choose Open. Now, also, whether or not if you have a specific cutting conditions database. We'll cover over this later. You can always come back and edit this file. But this is pretty much the feed and speed table for your software. And here, this would be a three-axis mill. We have... Some of these are reserved for later use, like tool change position. This really isn't used in the post processors. Our maximum spindle speed is very important, though. Say so we set that to 20,000. Now, if you don't know this value, what this does is it sets a limit for the posting. So you might want to set it high. 
Same thing for the feed rates. Now the feed rates and spindle speeds will not exceed these values for this machine. You could choose whether or not comments are output in the code, whether or not subprograms are used. I'll go ahead and leave this off. And whether or not there's a fourth axis on the machine. We'll go ahead and save this file and then close out of the milling machine setup. Once we've done this, Windows is going to ask us if the program's installed properly. You'll say yes. Then we'll go ahead and open up our Bobcad. Choose OK. Now when we come back to our cam tree, and go next under cam part, and go to our current settings under milling tools, we'll see here's our Haas VF and the types milling with the settings that we had set up in the milling machine file. Now we come in here and fill out our other information or our other defaults. Now it is necessary to set up that milling machine file so you really want to do that as one of your, the first things that you do when getting started with the software.